Imagine you walk out to the table and you bring this and you put it down. Come on. How are your guests not going to be overjoyed? What's up guys? My name is Bjorn Shen and today we are going to be making a Korean army stew Christmas edition. <laughs> so first thing we do is the broth. It's a uh, stock base with a bit of gochujang. Okay, so this dish is not new to me. I had a restaurant once called Bird Bird and there was one particular Christmas where we had in fact quite a few of these ingredients lying around in our fridge at work. So we decided to make a very indulgent staff meal of army stew. And army stew is great because it's something that everyone can just gather around the table and eat. Hot pot is like, it runs my blood. During the festive period, it's a busy period for me at work. So when I'm at home, all I want to do is do minimal. And I'm the kind of guy who clears my fridge of stuff. So yeah, whatever is there, I like to uh, improvise. I like to put spins on things. I'm always messing up tradition. <laughs> so all these meats, fully cooked, ready to go. Anytime you got a guest, whip them up, super convenient. You can find all of them at fair price. Korean army stew is not a dish. It is a vehicle that brings people together. And because you know what, Christmas meals are meant to be long, they're meant to allow you to catch up with each other. So this is a very good sort of thing to have. This sums up the occasion, right? This is just big, it's abundant, it's generous. It is everything you want a dish to be come Christmas. Mm. So you take some parmesan, and we just grate it over. So guys, this is bubbling away, it's ready. So we're gonna go give this a try. Now it's so simple. The ingredients are so easy to acquire. I really suggest you give this a crack at home. We're gonna cut into this. Oh, look at that. Korean army stew, Christmas edition. Mmm, it's everything you want this Christmas, guys. So guys, it's been a blast. Merry Christmas. I'm out.